to introduce Farida Carter, the president of this campus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It is so good to see everybody out here this morning. For all of our students, if you're nervous, don't be. <laughs> Take some deep breaths. Get your mind into the game. Remember teamwork, collaboration, Communication is key in everything that you do. And when you leave here today, regardless of how you score, regardless of how you feel, regardless of how you place, make sure that you leave everything that you have on the table. Give it all that you got. As long as you give your best and do your best, you're already top notch. Welcome to Riverside City College, and let the competition begin. The students benefit a lot from participating at ITPC con uh, competition because they learn something beyond what is in the classroom. They learn how to answer technical questions in a short period of time. They, work, they learn how to work in groups, they learn how to be respectful and to interact with other students. And they also learn to think beyond the box, which is not everything in the class is sufficient, we need to do more. Um, I was myself a contestant like just a few years ago, and I benefited a lot from uh, the coach that I had. And he told me how to start coding, he told me how to do the practices, how to learn from my failures. And I wish I can just pass on this experience to the next generation. So I think this kind of competition is a great opportunity for them to practice in a kind of like a, a pressured scenario where they have to like uh, try their best uh, to not only think hard, but also like collaborate smartly and work very uh, diligently on uh, some like very hard, tough programming problems. It will involve them to think, involve them to code, and involve their teamwork. It really, the most important part is to try to, to participate and to try to solve problems and, and uh, really people learn from taking that challenge, that step and, and trying to get challenged. So um, not be afraid of not being able to solve something is, is very important, especially if you're going to start looking for a job or 
going into that interview and uh, it really will help you uh, prepare for what, what's coming in a challenging situation, so yeah. Uh, I decided to become a coach because, and even as a, as a, as a instructor, as a teacher at Miracosa, I see myself as a coach. Um, I see myself as uh, given the, the opportunity to uh, help them reach their full potential. Uh, my, my best learning moments in life has been as an athlete, and I gain a lot, so, I gain so much from my coaches. They help me grow not only as an athlete, but as a person. So I'm trying to give that back to the students, and I'm trying to get the best part of my learning in my life and bring it back into the, into the field. So uh, this opportunity as a, an, as a coach for the IPC, uh, ICPC uh, gave me an opportunity to you know, uh, have a competition, right? And, and, and not just out inside the classroom, but now in a, in a much more you know, community level where you know we can compete with other with other schools and you know maybe potentially you know uh, in the nation Just the experience working with my teammates and collaborating on all the problems and just watching that first problem go through and see the green letters, is it's a great feeling. Even if you've only taken one computer class, I think it's a great experience just to be problem solving and um, just using that part of your brain where you're critically thinking and uh, coming up with creative solutions with code. Uh, to be honest, it's a little bit nerve wracking, but um, once we started like reading the problems, getting into, getting used to the environment and everything, uh, we just got into a groove and started solving problems. Favorite moment of uh, the competition definitely had to be when we solved the problems and um, got into the groove. I really liked that um, it was definitely a bit of a struggle trying to understand the concepts at first individually, but at some point we all got the gears grinding and were able to collectively come to a solution that we could agree on and that eventually solved the problem. Um, to start off, again, the problems turn out to be like very intensive and intimidating at first, but once you get the math out, you start doing some calculations on paper, uh, you realize like all the dots start connecting and that's when it becomes satisfying because everyone knows that the problem is a lot more doable than it seems at first. Uh, I found it really fun and enjoying. It's hard, like all the questions were pretty difficult, but I still, could enjoy, understand some of the questions. Oh, I would definitely recommend it. It's not just for school, but even after school, it comes in handy, especially in interviews and stuff like that. It's a very big part of uh, being a computer scientist or software engineer.
not her ex. But second place. <laughs> There's our champions. Woo!